Premiere Pro does not include a feature for automatic motion blur. Usually you would need to manually add effects such as directional blur that turns out looking bland which is very inconvenient. RSMB, a third party plugin, adds motion blur to clips on your timeline and it's very effective because it looks completely natural. It can also be used to hide warps on clips that use Twixter. Even if you prefer using a low frame rate style like I do, you'll need to hide those warps and motion blur can fix that. Method 1 is to simply drag RSMB Pro onto an adjustment layer over your chosen clips. I've got two on my sequence. You can now modify the settings to your liking. I'm going to set the amount to 0.35, a good balance. In some cases, the blur will not be visible between some specific frames, such as the final frame for the first clip and the first frame for the second clip. It will look completely raw. To fix this, move one keyframe back before the center and set the track frame to previous so it creates motion blur based on what the previous frame looks like. Then head one keyframe ahead and this time set it to next so that the frame after is used instead of the previous. You can also set the track enhance to delinearize which slightly tweaks the motion blur. It depends on your clip and the difference may or may not be noticeable. Method 2 is the same except you drag it onto the clips directly, change the settings, then copy and paste it over to the other clips. However, I recommend only using this method if the effect is not working on the adjustment layer. Sometimes it can cause issues and interfere with other effects. Another final way to use this is by exporting your clip with the shakes or transitions and then applying RSMB. In case Premiere Pro struggles with previewing a playback on the timeline with multiple effects. Thank you for watching. Peace.